This is a very important rule about this. Unless you urinate one time on the bike in an Ironman 70.3, AKA half Ironman, you will not run to your potential. Hi, I am retired professional triathlete, TJ Tollickson, CEO of Diamond Bikes. And today I'm going to ask the burning question you all have inside you, how to pee on the bike. Hey, look everybody, Billy peed his pants. Of course I peed my pants. Everybody my age pees their pants, it's the coolest. So before we get into that, let's start with uh, my previous video about half Ironman nutrition. I stated a pretty blunt fact that if during a half Ironman race, you do not pee on the bike at least once. One time. You will not run to your potential, which also holds true for the full Ironman. If you do not pee on your bike twice. Two. During a full Ironman, you will not run to your potential. So, how do you pee on your bike? Well, the most obvious one would be to stop your bike at the side of the road at a porta potty, run in the porta potty, and pee. Uh, the less obvious one would be the one that saves you more time when you're racing, especially for money or a Kona spot or just plain pride. Um, you gotta let it go. You just gotta go. Go, 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 go! So how do you do that? A lot of people say, this seems impossible, I don't know how to do this. Because it can't be done. So I'm gonna give you some tips right away. So the first thing to do would be to stop pedaling, okay? So stop pedaling coast. It helps if you have a small downhill so you can coast downhill. Put your feet, level pedals, stand up on the bike, okay? And then the last thing you want to do is holding one hand on your handlebars, hit little karate chops right on your bladder, just like this. Little karate chops on your bladder as you're standing on your bike. And it should give you the urge to urinate on the bike. What happens when you urinate on the bike? Well, if you're a guy, which is really the only experience I have, Like that, hang on a second. Okay. Where'd you just go? He's throwing. Oh. Nice. Yeah. All right, strike that back into it. Yes, it becomes necessary to urinate on the bike, so uh, you gave yourself those little karate chops, you're standing up, you find the need to go. You do want to make sure there is nobody behind you, like at least right behind you. Unless, of course, that person is like illegally drafting off you, and then I'd say it's fair game um, to just let it go. If peeing your pants is cool, consider me Miles Davis. Uh, now, I said I only have experience being a male, so I know that uh, it's usually going to go down one leg or the other, other, depending on how you're adjusted at the time. I'm always a left legger, so uh, it's. And that's just, that's fact. That's scientific fact. Yes, it will run down your leg, all the way into your cycling shoe. Hopefully you have tri shoes with uh, vent slash holes on them so that it will drain out. And then the last step would be to take your water bottle, hopefully not Gatorade, just plain water bottle, and give yourself a nice quick rinse with it, shoot that down the leg too. Pretty much will all wash off and you're good to go. Um, so yes, this becomes necessary. Does everyone need to pee on the bike? No, they don't. A lot of people will say, hey, uh, I want to be a little more conservative. I'm just going to pull over and stop. That's fine too. Do I recommend practicing this in training? I'd like to know. I have one day and one day only what I would recommend you do this during training. And that's when you're on a ride and you get caught in the rain. Um, if you're out on a training ride and you're caught in the rain, go ahead, give it a whirl. It's not gonna make much difference. It might warm your feet up a little bit. Um, other than that, I reserve the uh, urinating on my bike to races only. Uh, I no longer have a problem. I don't have to stand up. I don't have to chop my bladder. I can just go sitting down, pedaling, full on, no big deal. I'm kind of a big deal. If you're curious and you wanna see videos, tips and techniques on how to do this during the swim or the run, I'm happy to follow up. But most people just want to know how to do this during the bike. So there you go. 
happy trails and hopefully that burning sensation is gone now and not creating any pain or chafing while you run.